Today's video, I'm going to show you how to erase objects out of your photos using GIMP. Objects are like that light behind me. I think that light is giving me the evil eye. Anyway, on with the video. <laughs> everybody welcome back to another video on this week's uh, tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, remove uh, objects out of your photos or uh, remove things out of your photos uh, for instance if I was taking a photo of this uh, picture right here and I wanted to remove the light uh, I could do that uh, using GIMP or remove the door or remove that cabinet over there so today I'm going to show you how to do all that uh, using GIMP. I'm going to be showing you a few techniques you could utilize to um, take out pretty much uh, anything out of photos. So um, let's get onto the computer and I'll show you uh, how to get it done. Alright everybody, let's uh, get started. Here's the photo uh, I took uh, of me uh, for my uh, for a thumbnail in my... Um, latest uh, Andy's vlogs I think for my monetize uh, video uh, if you haven't seen that one I'll leave a link up in the corner for you to go check that one out but this is uh, the photo that I use uh, to make that thumbnail now you see here uh, there's a light there that constantly photo bombing me you know my uh, thumbnails uh, that I'm trying to take so I'm going to show you how to uh, remove it um, one of the techniques you could use to remove that now being that the background for this uh, photo is pretty pretty uniform so it would be pretty easy to remove so what we would do is um, you will click on your background cutter and select the cutter picker and you just go close to the to the light and select the point on there and hit OK now we're going to just zoom in to that light and we're just going to use the erase tool yes the erase tool and um, let's make the brush a little bigger there we go and you just uh, click on it and slowly look at it disappear and it's gone <laughs> as easy as that zoom back out you don't even notice there was a light there now uh, that's a very simple way of uh, removing objects off of a uh, background as most likely uniform in color um, but uh, you may come across other photos that is not that simple um, than, than just pick a cutter and erase um, I'm going to show you in another photo now this photo is a little more challenging. Um, you see over here we got a person that kind of photo bomb my my, scen <laughs> my uh, scenery shot, I guess. Uh, so you want to remove her from um, from the photo. A way you could do that is uh, using something called Clone Tool. So you click on the Clone Tool. Now let's zoom in to that person and I'll show you how this tool is used. up a little bit now the clone tool is basically you just take a, a spot that is close by and you just clone it over to the spot you want so what you do you hit down the control key and click on the spot you want to clone and you just use your mouse let's uh, do it a little slower and you just slowly you know just you know oh. slowly you know, erase and a little bit of nice. yeah. and that's pretty much it that's pretty much how you uh, 
use a clone tool to uh, remove things from photos. As you see here, it looks you know natural. It's like there wasn't a person there. Now we're gonna get into a little bit more challenging photo. If you're gonna come across a photo like this, who has uh, a background with two different patterns and with such a large object like this bird it's going to take a little chance to remove which is why GIMP has a, a plugin that is out there called the Resynthesizer you could download that plugin and install it onto your uh, GIMP installation and um, utilize that tool now I'm going to show you where to download it first um, here's the website where you could get the Resynthesizer you know, I leave the link in the description below for you to uh, get it. And then you just, what you do is just download it and unzip it. Let's close out all this. Open it. Now, what you need to do is put all these files in the plugin folder in your GIMP installation. So, what you need to go is go into your C drive or the drive that you install GIMP on program files GIMP2 lib folder GIMP 2.0 and the plugin folder and here is where you would install or put all those um, files in, in the zip file here you would put all these files here as well as uh, if you have um, most computers now are 64-bit, so you would just go into Win64 and copy these two files and put it in here as well. Or uh, if you have an older computer, a uh, 32-bit computer, you know, of course you're going to use the Win32. After you have installed uh, the plugin onto your GIMP folder, you just restart GIMP. And now you can utilize the, the plugin. Now, to utilize this plugin, we first need to select the bird. So, uh, what we would do is we would zoom in on the bird. Not too much, maybe a hundred would be good. Yeah, that's good. Move it a little bit here. Move it up. And you would use the free select tool to select the bird. Now, you could just hold the mouse and trace all around it, but I'm my hands are kind of not unsturdy with that, so I gotta just use points to create my selection. But if you have a sturdy hand, you could definitely just, you know, just uh, use uh, just free draw and select the hand. Now make sure to leave a little bit of space uh, around your selection. So the plugin could uh, sample pixels to work to to apply the effect on. So you want to leave a little space around your selection so the plugin could you know uh, select uh, some of the sampling of pixels around your objects to fill it in. Click on the selection. Now it's selected. Now you will go to filters, enhancement, and heal selection. Now, being this um, background had two different patterns on top and bottom, we're going to sample it from side to side. If you have a little uniform pattern all around, you could use all around. And the fill order. We are going to go from inward towards the center. And uh, sampling, like I said, we left a little space around um, the object uh, we selected. So we could use that sample to, to apply the effect. Now, uh, at default, is 50. I usually like it a little more. I'll hit OK. And it's going to start going to work. 
Now this usually takes anywhere, depending on how fast your computer, uh, a minute to 30 seconds. So, um, yeah, if you have a slow computer, it takes longer. If you have a fast computer, it gets done quicker. But it's not going to be, you know. And there it goes. They removed it. Wow, it did a really good job. Um, you see this somewhat of a, like a broken line here a little bit. Uh, what you could do is you could zoom out a little bit and use the heal tool to kind of uh, take care of some of those uh, lines here. Just kind of blur the lines a little bit here. Bit. You also notice a little bit of uh, curving here is tied on, so you would select this spot here. Uh, and this, you know, uh, oh, you do that a little bit, that I left a little bit of a spot we really didn't want, so just kind of blend it in. There you go, it's uh. You successfully removed the bird with just a few clicks with a, a plugin. Now, uh, these are some of the techniques uh, you could use to remove objects in GIMP. Um, like I said, different photos require different, you know, uh, techniques to get the job done. But with GIMP, uh, with all these tools, you could pretty much remove pretty much anything in photos um, that you want. If you have any questions, uh, leave in the comments below, and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Um, be sure to support my channel for more tutorials, vlogs, funs and challenges. And if you enjoy this uh, tutorial and find this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit uh, the like button to uh, like this video. As well as click on the notification bell to get notified. Uh, when I read these new videos. As always, everybody, have a nice day, and I see you on the next video. Take care, everyone.